So I noticed the other day when I was looking how to fix my portrait videos um, that there wasn't a lot of uh, videos out there as to how to do that. I'd seen a method where people used a, uh, uh, a blurred image on either side with the clear image in the middle and it uh, seemed to work out fairly good. So I decided that uh, I wanted to try and do that. And I think I've got a pretty good method here, so I am going to show you guys how I did that and hopefully this will help you. All right, so I've got uh, everything set up here in uh, Adobe Premiere. I've got uh, three videos right here that uh, are all in portrait mode and very uh, difficult to use in, in this format. I've got my intro in which uh, just helps me uh, adjust my sequence so that I have the proper settings and uh, when I drag and drop one of these videos in as you will see I just get one image in the middle so this is my method for doing uh, the adjustment to a portrait uh, style video into landscape there may be other ones but uh, this is how I figured out how to do it so what I'm going to do is actually bring in three versions of that movie, but we're going to do them one at a time. So with uh, the preview open here, I'm going to select it so that I get the bounding bars on the video. And I'm just going to start by moving it over. Now, right now I'm just using the arrow keys and I'm going to shuffle it all the way over. Now you can drag it all the way over, but uh, the problem that I found when I was using the mouse to drag it is that uh, it's easy to move it up and down and to get some bars uh, at the top and the bottom. So if you use the arrow keys, it's quite a bit more precise. Uh, it's a little bit slower, but uh, more precise. And you're only going to have to do this once. Uh, I'm going to show you how to copy and paste uh, the attributes onto the other ones. So uh, the tediousness is only once. Okay, so I've got that one all the way over to the left. Now I'm going to bring in another version of it and I'm going to place that one. I, I'm not really being very picky if I'm going to use video one, two or three here. I'm just trying to get everything into uh, the frame. So now I've got that one in. I'm going to select it again and use the arrows to move it all the way over to the side. Okay, got that one lined up. And now when I bring a third version of the movie in, it's gonna put that one automatically in the middle. Now, I haven't found out any way to do this uh, any better. So with that one, I am just going to use the uh, bounty box. I'm gonna expand it a little bit. Now this is better than having to expand the entire thing. And uh, that will, uh, give me a completely filled in uh, frame here. So the other thing is you've got three versions of the sound which is completely unnecessary. So the other thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to select those guys and I'm going to unlink them which will allow me to select the two sound parts and delete them. So at this point when I play my video this is what it's going to look like. doesn't really help anybody. That is uh, confusing and it doesn't really help your eyes a lot. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to go into effects, into video effects and blur and I'm going to choose a camera blur and I'm going to put that onto track one and onto track two. So now you can see the effect is quite a bit better. You can actually oh, see what's going on in the video. Here. And it really makes it feel like the entire frame is filled up. It kind of fools your eyes into, uh, into thinking that. And it works quite nicely. So that's for one clip. So most of you are going to be dealing with multiple clips. So it gets easier with each clip. So here's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to take the next uh, frame here. I'm going to bring that in. Okay. 
Okay, so I'm going to bring in all three versions of this right off the bat. So here is second, and here is third. Now all I'm going to do in this one is I'm just going to select this one, which is one of the ones that has been modified on the other one. I'm going to right click, I'm going to hit copy, and then I'm going to right click and I'm going to paste those attributes in. I'm going to select all of these parts here, which is what I've done to the other video. And you can see already in my frame, I've got that done. And then I'm going to do the same for this one. Copy, and then paste. Okay, so now I've got my second clip done with uh, a lot less uh, complications than the first one. Okay, so that's my little lesson here. Hopefully it helped you and uh, you don't have to spend as much time as I did trying to figure out how to do this. I am just a newbie at uh, Premiere, but uh, really enjoying using it. Thanks a lot. There you go. Good. Further, come further. Keep, yeah, keep winching up. Keep coming. There you go. Good. Further, come further. Keep, yeah, keep winching up.